What's up, Minecraft Universe? This is Jason back with another snapshot update. This is week 16 of uh, the snapshot uh, current update we got going on. So, uh, yeah, this is not much of a big change of a snapshot, but it's got some really cool features that, I mean, not needed to be implemented but into the into the game itself, but, I mean, it's pretty cool, and I actually, I really enjoy it. So, uh, yeah. And so if you go over when you're creating a world, you can go to more world options and you can turn allow cheats on. And I think there's a bug right now anyway that will not allow you to turn on the, or turn off the cheats with the snapshot because it, I don't know, it's just a bug. So, um, I'm just keep it on. And then you can turn bonus chest on and I'll show you what that is in a minute. So, um, other than that, we can go ahead and get started. Click done. I'll go in survival mode, and my world name will be, um, week 16. There we go. You know, general name. Okay, here we are. And, uh, it's just like a normal world, but we now have cheats turned on, and we have this chest here. And it spawns, and this is kind of helpful if you are just beginning Minecraft and you need some help to start with. Uh, this chest will help you because it will have random items in it uh, from a choice of like six items or seven, I don't know. Uh, there will be a list on the screen and they will be in the description. So uh, yeah, they start with stuff like this and you can just take it out, you know, beginner things and it's just a random sort of items that will help you out on your journey. And it's not always the same, so that's cool. And that's the new chest feature and then also we have the new commanding and single player command feature which actually kind of replaces single player commands the mod um it not necessarily replaces the whole mod but i mean the the actual mod can do some other things but this is just a base um base command i guess console that will uh do basic things like when you're in multiplayer so by default the command but or the talk button is t so pull that up and your game will freeze and uh, we talk down here, we can type slash, and I think it's tab, yeah, slash tab, it'll tell you everything you can do. So if I do slash game mode uh, 1, it should switch me to creative mode. And then slash game mode 0, and it will change it back to um, survival mode. And then so we also got slash toggle downfall, and that will start it will start to snow and rain or or rain depending on what biome you're in and then um you can re or re type it and it will go away and then we also got the time feature which is the same feature as in multiplayer so you type slash time set or add and then you put your value so um let's do like 10,000 which is about um let's see what it is it's about yeah it's almost night time so yeah, so then we can do slash time set 11,000 and it should go down. Yeah, so that is the way we do time. So let's do slash time set like 16,000. Should be nighttime. There we go. So there's that and that's the time feature. Then we can also do slash kill and that will kill you. And I'm not sure what that's used for. That's, I guess, just if you get lost or something, or you're in creative and you want to go back, go back to your spawn point, wherever that is, or bed, and you'll go back there. So, and then we got slash XP, which is slash XP. You don't have to type your name on both game mode or um, on XP because, I mean, you're in single player, so it doesn't matter anyway. So you can do slash XP and then say um, a number up to, I think, 5,000. So uh, let's do like. 50 million. Alright, so yeah, it's too big. So you can do up to 5,000 and, oh, that was that XP. What did I type? Alright, 5,000 and it'll keep doing that and then you can keep re-putting it. And uh, by the way, if you didn't know, you can press, um, oops, you can press Alt Up on your keyboard and it will go through all your recent typings. So yeah, Alt Up, XP, and then, oh, and then we can um, keep typing it. So, um, yeah, I'm level 118 now. So that's pretty badass. So that is the snapshot for week 16. Nothing much else added. I mean, there was a couple lang language files updated and some bugs were fixed. But other than that, it's just another weekly snapshot. Nothing big, but these are pretty 
much two really cool features. And don't forget, and when you're creating your world, you have to enable those um, slots for them to work because when you're in the process of creating your world, they have to be enabled. So, um, yep, that's about it for the week 16 snapshot. Nothing much new, but two big improvements. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, I will talk to you stars later. See ya.